I've got a really cool one for you. So I found this product from a company called Thermal Master, and it is the world's smallest thermal camera. So they reached out to me and they said, would you like to collaborate with us? And if we send you one of these, would you like to review it? And I'm like, you know what? I don't know what I'd use it for. And so I dug into it and I looked it up. I'm like, you know what? I could check the temperature of the machine. I could find leaks on my weather stripping on the doors and windows of my house. I could figure out what my hydraulic fluid temperature is. I could find, I mean, all kinds of things with it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, send me one of those. That would be pretty cool. This plugs into your phone. It is a thermal camera. Just like, let me just show you what this does. So I'm out here in my workshop and I'm just gonna show you what this is. So this one is the P2 Pro. It's got an instruction manual. And this is a macro zoom, which I, I haven't used, but this is the one that's required for an iPhone. So you go into your phone, you pick up the Thermo P2 app, and here it is. And then I need an adapter because I have a 16 Pro Max. So I put in my adapter and then I take my camera with the lens pointed away and I plug it in. If you have one with a lightning cord, it just plugs right in or an Android. So now it's reading the camera and check this out. So what this does on the screen is it shows you, I had this sitting on my V1000, so it's showing the heat. Right in the center, it shows you the temperature. It shows you the hottest temperature on the screen and it shows you the coldest area on the screen. So the coldest area is down there on the concrete floor. And so it, no matter what you do, you can always see that. So you have different choices for how you want it to look. I personally like this one. This is the red hot. You've also got this gold, got the dim light. I also like this one. This one, I like the color coding and it shows you what the different temperatures are. So uh, no matter what you have on the screen, it's always gonna show you the hottest and the coldest. So if there's nothing really that different in temperature, it's still going to point to the hottest and the coldest. So it has all these different options. So let me go back here. This is my favorite. It's all black and white except what's warm. So let me show you an example. This is my V1000 and I was just operating it. So you can see coming from the engine compartment, it's really warm. Let's move closer and let me get into the hood. So, so what you see here, this is the exhaust. It's a heat shield blocking the exhaust. It's underneath there. And then the engine's back behind it. Take a look at this. So you can see clearly it's pretty warm. So the hottest area on the screen right now is showing between the vents of the exhaust, 158 degrees. Right in the center is 92. We go back to the engines, 130, 140. And the coldest area is right over here, the concrete floor of the shop. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So here's another example. See this, this machine, there's nothing warm in that picture at all. So let me fire this machine up. This is a Yanmar diesel powered machine. See how it's getting warm? Actually, what's getting warm is the wall where the exhaust is blowing. That's crazy. The exhaust is blowing onto the wall. And it's showing how warm that is. I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes. Look at that. Everything back there where the exhaust is blowing on is getting warm. That's crazy, huh? You see this? Look how warm it all is all back there. Everything's warming up because the exhaust right here is blowing. But you can see the engine. The exhaust is the hottest thing here, of course. And the engine is pretty darn warm too. <laughs> That's so cool. Something else I've learned, like see, I'm grabbing this bar and then 
look, you can see where my hand was. That's so wild. I don't know. It's so crazy. Like I, I put my hand on the side of the machine and just leave it there for just a few seconds. Like there's a handprint. So weird. So it gets better than that. So the roof of my house is pretty warm because the sun's been shining on it. I was running my DRT 450 and you see how that's red. But as I go around inside my camper is pretty warm and that light that light shows to be warm. The roof of the shed, of course, is warm. And then as we go around, oh, see that? See how it's finding something? It's a camera. Because it's an electronic device, that is the warmest thing around because it has circuits in it that are warm. It can find cameras. It's crazy. So there's nothing warm out here. I mean, it'll show you animals even. So as we're going around, you know, the dirt's kind of warm in the sun, but look at that. There's my 450, because I've been running it. And it'll tell us the temperature of it. It's crazy, huh? That's where the hydraulic fluid tank is, where it's really, really bright red. So inside, See the hydraulic pumps and the engines back here. But man, that's the exhaust. And there's the engine. Let's fire this up again. So this is gonna run and you'll see that exhaust will get really, really hot. So the exhaust temperature 108, 109, 110. It's just gonna keep getting hotter. And everything in here is gonna keep getting hotter as it goes. See the hydraulic lines are all hot. Now we're at 130 degrees on the exhaust. Just keeps getting hotter. And yeah, that is hot. Oh wow, you can see the gas. You can see the heat from the exhaust. That's so cool. Okay. The more I play with this, the more cool stuff I find. <laughs> this is the hydraulic oil cooler, looking so red through there. That's the cooler. And then the engine's down in there. Let's turn it up a little bit. The exhaust is now at 200 degrees. Look, you can't see an exhaust coming out, but you can on the camera. The exhaust is now 230. So cool. I can think of so many things I could use this for. Let's try a different mode. Let's go for gold and red. Now we're at 260 degrees on the exhaust. Look at that red down in there, that engine. We're about to hit 300 degrees on the exhaust. I still like this one the best. So not only that, but you can take a photo. So now I've stored that photo. You can also take video. So I can walk around and I can show you the temperature of everything here. See that 325 degree exhaust? And then I turn off the video and here you go. Here's my playback of my video. Or here's my photo I took. And it records the temperatures. <laughs> Now we're, uh, now we're cooking. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm in there. 192 degrees down on the hydraulic pump. Back here. Yeah, that engine's pretty warm.
Okay, let's go see what else we can find. So as I'm looking around, see that red spot up ahead? It's the warmest spot on the screen. That is my robot mower mowing along. <laughs> That's pretty wild, huh? See how warm this is? That's my other robot lawnmower charging. And it's pretty warm. My black truck sitting out here gathering some sunlight. 90 some degrees on the hood. Yeah, I'd say that seems accurate. Look at the fridge. You can see the coils in the freezer. I mean, through the side. It's that accurate. In the freezer, negative 11, negative five in the middle. So walking through the house, see how it keeps pinpointing something there? That's a camera. It found the camera. See around the dog door. It looks like I probably have a leak there. Because I do. What's the coldest area? It's coming around the bottom of the door. Yeah, see right there? It says there's a leak right there. Sure is. I can see right through it. Dumb dog door. My front door. It looks like. Right around that gap. It's really warm. So I probably need to do some weather stripping around that door. Huh. I'm just super amazed by this thing. How accurate it is. You know, robot lawnmower, it sees it, no problem. Another robot. I haven't been out here in quite a while, but the 450 still is uh, still generating heat, it looks like. Check out the deer. You can for sure see animals. That's pretty wicked, huh? pretty awesome and the warmest thing is that deer right there the coolest thing is up in the trees sun's going down go warm the trees look at where my truck is crazy you can see back behind the grill engines warm still yeah that's pretty wicked and I'm gonna run inside the uh, campulence here and let's see how this air conditioner did. Let's go inside. Holy cow, it is cold in here. That's wild. Okay, let's see. 70, 65, 66, 65. Wow. That's pretty warm over there. There, 49 degrees. Do you see that? It's 49 degrees. Wow. Wow! It's pretty warm right there. A bunch of heat's 80 degrees. Look at all the heat coming there. This is heat coming from out of the, uh, the box for the normal AC. And all around it, you know, that whole area around is showing to be hot. So... Yeah, you can really see where the heat is. The heat's all coming from the front. There's an uninsulated box right behind this, this, this whole, the storage back behind there, back behind here. And you can see the heat it's holding. 
uh, around the door. It's really hot. It says, uh, it says it's about 80 degrees there. But the rest of it is pretty cool. Now, it's about 74 degrees on top of that blue pad. Yeah, this, this camera is amazing. Yeah, Thermal Master. I'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can see where to get this. Uh, but this is awesome. 